Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about window functions in Databricks development. Window functions are commonly available across all the databases and in Spark and Databricks also. Also, window function is very commonly used transformation in all the projects. It's very rare to see any development without using window function. And window function has many transformations such as row number, rank, tens rank, first, entire, lead, lack. Now there are many transformations. In this video, I'm going to talk about lead and lack transformations available within window functions. Before getting into lead and lack, first of all, let us understand what is window functions. Window function is nothing but splitting the data into windows or we can call it as partition or packet. So basically splitting the large data into windows based on a particular key, then applying the transformation for each window. That is called window function. Let me give through some example. Let's say I have a data frame which is containing name, department and salary. For sales department, there are five records. For finance, there are three records. And for marketing, there are two records. Let's say I want to split this data based on a particular key, the, that is department. So I'm going to create partition based on department, then which will, it will create three partitions. The terminologies partition, packet, and window, these are commonly used for this concept. You know, I can also use interchangeably, but all are pointing to same concept. So when I'm going to create partition based on department on this data frame, it is going to create three partitions. One for sales containing these five records. And the second one is for finance containing these three records. Third one is for marketing containing these two records. So basically it is creating three partitions for this data frame. And after that, you know, the syntax, the corresponding syntax is window dot partition by department. So the column based on which we have to create partition that we need to give within this uh, bracket in the syntax. And for some requirement, we have to sort the data within each partition. If that is the case, then we can use order by class, you know, after window partition by department, then we can tell, you know, for each partition within each partition based on which value we want to sort the data. So for example, I want to sort the data based on salary. Here I am not mentioning ascending or descending. By default, it would be ascending, which means the value will start from the lowest value for each partition. So this is applicable, you know, this sorting is applicable only within partition, not across the entire data frame. So coming to this one, this particular uh, sales uh, partition, the first lowest value would be James 3000. That is coming here. The ne second lowest, that is also 3000 David. That is coming here. And the next lowest value is 4100. And that is coming in the third one. And the fourth one, again, it's a 4100. That is coming in the fourth place. And the next uh, lowest value would be 4600. And that is the last value within this packet. And this is how you know it is getting sorted. And coming to the next packet, finance, it is already you know sorted 3000, 3300, 3900. So it's coming as it is. And coming to the third packet, um, you know the lowest value would be 2000. So it come at the top within this packet and Jeff will come after that. This is now whenever we are going to give this uh, piece of code window dot partition by department and also order by salary, then we will get this kind of output. And it's not only salary, we can sort based on any column and it's not only ascending, even we can go with descending order. So for that, let's say I want to partition based on, uh, I want to sort based on name and descending order. Then this is the syntax. We have to give window partition by department and also order by name in descending order. So here, the packet will be created for each uh, department, but at the same time within that, you know, the records will be sorted based on name in descending order, which means SIF, yes, in alphabetical order, yes is the uh, highest one, so that comes first. So this is how, you know, internally Spark is working. This is the internal working mechanism of Spark. So whenever we are uh, giving uh, partition by and order by uh, uh, class, then it will split the data in this way. And on top of this uh, splitted data, we can apply any logic such as uh, row number, rank, tens rank, 
lead, lag, first, end tile. You know, these are the different operations. And in this demo, I'm going to cover only lead and lag. So coming to lead and lag, let's say, you know, I have created, I have uh, created uh, partitions on the data frame. So as a result, you know, there are three buckets here, sales, finance, and marketing. So I'm going to apply lead function on top of a salary column. Then what it means is, you know, uh, I'm going to create another uh, column. So based on the salary, I'm uh, going to get the lead value, which means, you know, for this record, what is the leading record? So the next record, that is the leading record. So the corresponding value of the next record will be taken and put it here. So the corresponding uh, leading value for the salary column, you know, for this record, you know, it will be considered this record. So this value is 3000 that will be put here. And coming to this record, the leading record, which is having 4100 value. So that is coming here. Similarly, coming to this record, you know, the leading record would be again this 4,100. This value is put here. And coming to this record, the leading value would be 4,600. That is being placed here. And coming to this 4,600, now this is the last value within this packet. So it is not having any next record. So as a result, it is going to populate null value because you now there is no next value. So, you know, we have completed lead value for this particular packet or this partition. So it is jumping into the next one. Similarly, for the next one, uh, for this record, the leading value would be 3,300 that is coming here. And uh, for this record, the leading value is 3,900 that is coming here. And uh, the last value, we don't have any uh, leading value. As a result, it will be populated with null. So this is lead function. And basically, you know, by default, the skipping value or the leading range would be one record and even we can give two records you know we have to get leading value of two records which means you know for this um, uh, record the leading value of two records would be 4100 you know it will go to the second record not immediately next record so that is leading function i hope you understood and coming to lag it's just quite opposite to lead so in the lead you know the values are derived from the next available value but coming to lag, you know, the neck, the value will be taken from the previously available value. So for this particular packet, if I have to calculate lag value, then for the first record, you know, it will check the previous record. Actually, this is the first record in this packet. So we don't have any previous value. So that that is the reason it will populate null value. And coming to the second record, the previous value is 3000. So that is being put here. And uh, coming to next value 4,100, the previous value is 3,000. So that's the reason it is coming here. Similarly, it is uh, populating the value based on the previous record that is lagging, lag function. So I hope you understood how we have to split the data as uh, partitions, you know, based on window partition by. Then if needed, you know, we can sort the data uh, ascending or descending order. Then on top of that, you know, we can apply lead and lag function. I hope you understood. Now, uh, let me execute the process in uh, Databricks environment. Let us get started with demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and the cluster is also up and running. And in the first step, I'm going to create one sample data frame. So let me execute. In the first uh, cell, I'm creating the same data frame which I have shown in the example. Here you can see it's the same data set that I have shown in the Excel. Employee name, department, salary, you know, there are five records for sales, three records for finance and two records for marketing. And coming to the next step, you know, we have to define window function. So we can do it directly on the lag function. Either, you know, directly I can give uh, the window definition here. Otherwise, it's always, uh, uh, you know, be better to uh, define in a separate variable. That is uh, but good for better readability. So I'm defining window function. So for that, you know, I have to uh, import uh, the library window. No, this is part of pyspark.sql.window. So we need to import that I have done here. Then coming to window definition, and I'm giving window spec. This is a variable name. We can give anything actually. Okay, it's a user uh, defined variable. So we can give any name. Here I have given window spec. Then after equal to, you know, it should start with window. You know, this is the keyword. You know, this is a constant value. Then dot partition by, you know, based on which column we have to partition. So in this particular data frame, I want to partition based on department. That's the reason I'm giving department. And if we have to order the data, then we have to mention that also. Here, I want to order the data based on the salary in ascending order. That's the reason I'm giving order by salary. Even though I haven't mentioned ascending order, still it will do ascending order because, you know, that is the default sorting order. Now, we have defined window definition let me execute done 
coming to lag function now the syntax is lag then we have to give you know based on which value you know we have to take the lag value for example in this data you know i want to consider salary of the you know next value or the previous value salary so that's the reason i am giving salary then how many rows we need to skip either know how many rows previous or next value we have to consider so by default it would be one so i am giving one then dot over we have to give this window spec so this window spec will take uh, uh, care of you know splitting the data into multiple partitions and sorting the data within the partition that is done on top of that you know uh, splitted and sorted data this lag logic will be applied okay that is lag salary field for one record so this is the syntax now here i am creating a new column using with column now we can give any name here i am uh, giving lag then i am applying this function i hope you understood so let me execute this step yeah here we can see you now as i explained this is a lag function so it will take the previous value within each packet so for example finance packet you know the starting value is 3000 so which means we don't have any previous value that's the reason it is populated with null coming to 3000 now the previous value is 3000 that's the reason 3000 is given here coming to 3900 the previous value is 3300 so that is coming here this is not applicable for all packets okay this is how the first value for null function would be always null because the first record will not contain any previous record as a result the first record for lag function will be null always and for lead function the last record will always be null because it won't have any next record i hope you understood and uh, coming to this uh, uh, you know uh, uh, value you know now let me try with two which means you know, it will uh, tag uh, it will take the lagging value of two records so let me execute see here you now for first record 3000 we don't have any previous record that's a reason null and coming to 3300 even though we are having previous record but still you know we have given a comment it should consider two records previously which means you no know, two records prior to this record so we don't have anything we are having only one record that's the reason even this is null coming to 3900 you know uh, two records prior to this record that is uh, this record 3000 so that value is coming here so this is uh, you know applicable for for example if you consider sales uh, bucket you now first two records it would be null and the third record it will consider 3000 and 4100 again this is considering 3000 and 4600 it will consider 4100 similarly we can give any level i hope you understood lag function coming to lead function again the syntax is quite similar you know instead of lag we need to give lead and based on which column we have to get the leading value here salary and uh, what is the level 1 then uh, window spec you know we have already defined the logic how to split the data and sort the data within partition so that logic we are giving here so let me execute lead function so we got a column lead you now here i have added lead column using with column then it's going to take the next value for 3000 the next value is 3300 so that's the reason it has come here for this record the next value would be 3900 that is coming here for this record uh, yeah this is the last one within finance packet that's the reason we don't have any next record so the last record for lead function will always be null so this is null so same for uh, marketing 200 the next record would be 3000 and for 3000 we don't have any uh, any uh, next record we just you know this particular packet is it's ending here so as a result it is null so this is how lead is working so same like lag you know we can uh, give uh, define levels for lead as well we can give 2 3 4 anything let me give 2 and you can notice the difference it's the same for 3000 it is uh, skipping next immediate next record then you know it is taking the next record which is 3900 and coming to 3300 and 3900 we don't have two level uh, skipping record as a result it is populating null value this is uh, how lead and lag functions are working as part of you know window window function transformation i hope you understood the concept hope you enjoyed this video if you like the content of this video please like comment in youtube channel also don't forget to subscribe and click on bell button thank you